Welcome back to the Forked Road. Today we are showing off Dragon Pilot. As you can see here by the colorful Rainbow Road driving icon, we are on Dragon Pilot. As far as new updates from them, I can't really be a good source for that. Most of their updates are on the Chinese Facebook group, and most of the posts are in Chinese. So Unfortunately, not something I know how to read. We're gonna show off some highway driving here. It's doing the lane keep assist, it's doing the cruise control. One thing I did notice is that this car specifically is not a profile in Dragon Pilot. It looks like they only have up to the 2023 So. I'm sure if it's been fully tuned to this car. So far it seems to be doing pretty well, but it is something that makes me want to go back over to Frog Pilot or the Silly Pilot, just because they are fully supported. Seems the curve, and the highway curve just fine. Let's see how it does on an exit ramp here. There we go. It's taken the curve. This is probably more centered than what I'm used to. That's just because I drive a little bit left centered. Here's a good example of coming up to a red light here. We have a lead car in front of us, so we should be braking. There, speed so turning right though, so we have to change lanes. And do we catch up here? Yes, we do. And okay. That was completely Dragon Pilot. I personally would want to pull up a little bit slower than that, but. Was well, still safe. It's not gonna know how to do the yield, so I had to disengage there. Just back up to speed here. Engage it. Back on quite a little bit windy room here for Arizona. No, it's not a highway. All of those seem to be able to navigate it. I have touched the wheel for the accelerator since I put it on at the max speed. The blinking left and right turn signals are a feature that I like of Dragon Pilot. I've seen some videos of Sunny Pilot with them, so I'm not quite sure what forks they've been using, but that is something I'm looking to see if you can get on Sunny Pilot or Frog Pilot, because it is nice to see that. We're going to go down Mill Road here, I guess technically Mill Avenue. We're going to see how it does with some adjusted traffic. This Mill is always adjusted. It's coming up on some... There we go, okay, it's on. It's on the brakes hard. It's getting so close to the point where I almost take over, but it does eventually see them. This is a good spot to see if it has stop and go. I didn't see it in there. And yeah, no, it looks like we do not have stop and go. We do have to step on the accelerator. So, 
something to be aware of. That's another point for Sunny Pilot is having that stop and go feature on it. It's not going to be able to understand this. So I disengage. Yeah, we have enough room now. Engage. See how it comes to a nice slow stop. Let's switch over to relaxed mode. And let's see how relaxed mode does with some more congested traffic. We have a difficult test coming up here for the software. We've got some rail lines in the street. We're going to see if it, yeah, it's seeing the rail lines. No, it corrected itself. There we go, it did just fine. So, I thought that that could possibly trip it up. And it looks like it was able to. Alright, so we've got a curved road here with clear lane lines. Yeah, it's able to handle it perfectly fine. So, this is about going to wrap up the video here. A little bit of a shorter one on Dragon Pilot here, just because there's not as much information. But let me know what else you're looking to see. Have some ideas of other things we can test out and go over around Frog Pilot and Sunny Pilot. So, definitely like and subscribe if you want to see more. And uh, we'll definitely see you on here on the Forked Road. Have a good one. Peace out.